So the title says insects, but in actuality, we're going to be talking about arthropods, which they um, are invertebrate animals and they have an exoskeleton, uh, segmented bodies, jointed appendages, um, and they are from the phylum arthropoda. Uh, and they include insects, arachnids, myriapods, and crustaceans. So what is an insect, like the title says, it's a class of invertebrates within the arthropod phylum. Um, they have chitinous exoskeletons, three-part bodies, which is the head, thorax, and abdomen. And they also have three pairs of jointed legs, compound eyes, and one pair of antennae. So for this webinar, we're going to have both insects and then insects that are in the arthropod uh, family. Uh, we have other creepy crawlies and all sorts of things to talk about today. Now they can be used for behavioral lessons. Some make just great classroom pets, but uh, I will be talking about all that. These are the painted lady butterflies. So I'll hold them up like this for now. Um, they are one of the brush footed butterflies. Um, they have about a five to nine centimeter wingspan and they live in total about two to four weeks as butterflies. Um, fun fact is they're found on every continent in the world except Antarctica and Australia. So, um, another few things in the wild, um, the females lay about 500 eggs and what's really cool is the males are actually territorial. So the um, males will court the female and when she comes to his territory he'll try and show off and, and get the female that way. Um, and also during migrations these kais can um, move thousands of kilometers. So they're actually really um, amazing little winged creatures. Um, so what we have here, um, I'm going to ask to go back to the smaller camera. So I will start with the eggs. Now these, this is um, butterfly eggs. Sadly, I did not put these on my, on my last slide, but I will put it up later again. You can order these as eggs. I did not know until too late, but um, when they come in, you will get them in like this. I hope everyone can see them. There's a bit of a glare. So the um, egg stage is about three to five days. Um, usually the butterflies lay their eggs on plants that they like to eat, such as um, thistle or hollyhock um, in the wild. We actually use a thistle extract to, to get them to lay their eggs on here. Um, as you can see, the eggs are about the size of a pinhead and pale in color. So, um, and they lay um, up to 500 of them. So next up, we have caterpillars. Can you see those? Awesome. Okay, you can see the tiny little lines. Those are caterpillars. So that's the larvae stage of the of the butterfly. This is about five to ten days. Um, the caterpillars will eat and eat and eat. So this is all food around here. They will continuously eat. Um, as the caterpillar skin gets tighter, it will actually um, shed the tight skin, much like a molt, in order to grow again. And here's some, we have some that are slightly bigger. Can you see that? Oh, perfect. Um, each caterpillar changes its skin about four times before it's fully grown. Um, and then it's about two inches long once they are ready to go um, into their chrysalis. So um, these guys are actually a little bit, um, they're almost ready to go into chrysalis. You can see that they're kind of attaching to the roof here. Um, they will then form a chrysalis by, um, they have a spinneret below their mouth, which um, that's where the silk thread comes out of. So they can um, build their uh, chrysalis. Um, they, they will hang from the top of these out in wild. They'll hang to whatever they can uh, cling to. Um, then the caterpillar will split open once again, and that's when the um, chrysalis is revealed. We've got a question. <coughs> sure. Um, you, you said much like a molt. Is there a technical difference between what these caterpillars do and a true molt? Um, I actually do not know that, but I can always look into that for you and uh, email you if you'd like, if you leave your email. I, um, that's a good question. <laughs> um, so once they go, I have a couple of pupated caterpillars here. Let's see if I can finagle this so we can see it. So you can see the, the chrysalis at the bottom there. Um, I'd like to take them out, but I'm a little worried that I might uh, have an escapee if I do so. So I hope everyone can see the what I'm pointing at down here. Is the, the, oh, there we go, they slid to the side. 
So that's the chrysalis. So it'll take about seven to 10 days for them to complete metamorphosis this way. Um, they, uh, they will then emerge as the painted lady butterflies you see, and then they will live about two weeks. And then the marine goal in life is to lay eggs and start the process all over again. So um, we have um, these sets available. If you go to the next slide, please. Um, so we have a complete habitat. If we want to go back to the big screen too, that's fine. I'll hold this up. Thank you. Um, we do have a complete habitat, which comes with 30 larvae. Um, they will come on this little disc here in the, the dish. Um, they, there will be enough food for each individual larvae for each student. Um, and um, it will come with a pavilion, which I'm sorry, I do not have, but they're, they're about this big. It's almost like a netted um, uh, laundry basket, it looks like, but it's about this big. It has beautiful um, butterfly printed on it. Um, so that's that kit. Um, you can also get the art garden habitat, which doesn't come with all the small cups for each student. They only comes with five larvae on prepared media. So it will look much like this one here when you receive it in. And then you can order the set of 30 larvae just by themselves and it will come with um, the food you need. So it will come with a media pack. Um, like I said, the eggs are available and I apologize. I will get that number. Um, I can email that number out if anyone is interested in ordering um, the eggs for um, the painted lady butterflies. So that's um, how we sell them. We only sell them as larvae. We don't sell them as, um, as butterflies because it would be too hard to transfer them. As you can see, even in this, they're having a little bit of trouble.